Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video we will be covering the lore about the Church of Sutra and the Fell God. This video will not be addressing any new information with Season 11, but rather what we already knew before this season. So, let's get right into this. Go on to Felcanton and observe the name of the southernmost POI, you will find that it is named the Church of Sutra. This location is one of the defining POIs of Felcanton, appearing on its loading screen, and is largely a place of mystery, with it originally being known as the Cold of the Mountain God. To try and crack this mystery and see what it all could mean, let's consider what the possible meaning of the location's name is, and what this could mean for the lore. So let's start off with who is Sutra. Sutra is a Jodan who are the enemies of the Aesir, or the Norse gods. They are powerful beings within Norse mythology who are able to give the Aesir a run for their money. Sutra himself is also a being who has existed since the start of everything and is fated to exist till the very end during the events of Ragnarok. During the Battle of Ragnarok, he is fated to fight Feyr, who he will slay before coating the world in flames. So what does this all mean for Vigor's lore? Well, Ragnarok is the end of the world and all beings, and the nuclear apocalypse is also that in a way and really is the end of the world as we know it being coated in nuclear flames so perhaps it is an allusion to the destructive nature of the end of the world much like the destructive nature of sutra and ragnarok however we can go deeper and delve into what this could mean for the lore sutra is clearly being worshipped by a cult of some sorts and seeing how sutra is stated to be the strongest in the nine realms and it is viewed that his victory is inevitable Perhaps his worshippers believe that their only route to salvation is to accept the destruction of society and worship Sutra in hope that he may grant them salvation. With his power, seeing as all they've known is the destruction of everything they hold dear, and he is known to be the Grand Destroyer. They could also believe that if his victory is inevitable, then one day even Norway will fall to his wrath. Perhaps their desire even is to help him in his conquest of Norway or the destruction of humanity's last stronghold with the hope of gaining the favor of this pure destruction that is Sutra. If true, this would make the Church of Sutra a faction that desires chaos only and anarchy and destruction, something that would bring them at odds with Ark and any other group that makes an attempt to restore humanity or even group up and try and survive. This would make them kind of the ultimate bad guys in our story. We're going to have to see as things pan out over the next couple seasons, however, I figured it was worth it to look at what basics we have before advancing with what new information we've gathered. So that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Chris Reese, and I hope to see you all next time.